హలో డే చిల్డ్రన్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ ఆల్ హై వోప్ ఆల్ ఆర్ ఫైన్ సీన్ నెంబర్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ హ్యాడ్ ఏ డిస్కషన్ ఆన్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు ద సీక్వెన్స్ అండ్ సిరీస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ద స్పెషల్ సీక్వెన్స్ అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ దట్ ఈస్ షార్ట్ లిక్విడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాడ్ యాజ్ ఏపి అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ సో యూ ఆల్రెడీ ఫెమిలియర్ విత్ ద అర్థమెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఇన్ యువర్ టెన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ you know the nth term sum to n terms first term then how to find the nth term you are not familiar okay you will know it so in this class i am going to discuss about some important properties and some important problems on arithmetic progression so let's we have a brief discussion about arithmetic progression so what is arithmetic progression this is a special sequence obviously and each term of the sequence either they are incremented or decremented by a constant term so that kind of sequence what we call as a arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression i'll give an example just observe here 2 4 6 8 10 1 so this is the first term and uh, a1 is the first term is called a1 and the second term is a2 this will be a3 this will be a4 and a5 last term is a6 so it has six terms each term of the sequence either they are incremented or decremented here obviously they are incremented the difference between the second and first term is same third and second term is same fourth and third term is same fifth and fourth term is same similarly sixth and fifth term is also same so that the difference what we call as a common difference in example common difference ante helthi first term obviously here a1 so here each term is decremented by constant term that is 2 so 4 is can be written as a1 plus d a3 can be written as a2 plus d a4 can be written as a3 plus d and a5 can be written as a4 plus d and it is continuous similar for if i will cut for second example i'll start with 20 18 16 14 1 and 10 so here also each term is decremented by the constant term that constant what we call as a common difference just observe here 20 and 18 is the difference is here 2 minus 2 agutte the common difference enagutta pilli d is equal to minus 2 and here the common difference d is equal to plus 2 here they are incremented and here they are decremented by constant term clear so this kind of sequence what we call as a arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression these are very important so let's we have the discussion about arithmetic progression so this is here a sequence a1 a2 a3 so up to an is called arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression if an plus 1 is equal to an plus d where n belongs to natural number where a1 is called the first term and d is called the common difference of the ap a1 is called the first term and d is called common difference of the arithmetic progression just observe here an plus 1 is equal to an plus d so what is the formula here an plus 1 is equal to an plus d if i substitute n is equal to 1 we left with here a1 sorry a1 plus 1 is equal to a1 plus d that is a2 and i get up a2 is equal to a1 plus d and it is continuous a3 is equal to a2 plus d a4 is equal to a3 plus d and it is continuous okay this is the formula an plus 1 is equal to an plus d now we are come to the definition of arithmetic progression and their general form the general form of ap with the first term a first term in a term a and the common difference d is given by first term is a second term is a plus d third term is a plus 2d and a fourth term is a plus 3d and it is continuous and nth term so what about nth term 
n term is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this term what we call as a nth term of the arithmetic progression. A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, let us play over the example. Now. First example. Now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Here each term is decrement, incremented by what? 2. This is also an arithmetic progression. Minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6. Minus 2. Here the common difference and the first term is minus 4 and the common difference is a2 minus a1 that gives a common difference d is equal to a2 minus a1 minus 2 minus of minus 4 gives plus 2 here the common difference is 2 next one this is also common first term is minus 9 and the common difference is 3 this is also first term is 1 and the common difference is 2 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 9, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 13 and it is continuous. These are all the example of arithmetic progression. So, what is the nth term here? n term is also called general term. General term is a n is equal to what? a plus n minus 1 into d. a is called first term and d is called common difference. What about sum to n terms of AP? Just observe here. Let a comma a plus d, a plus 2d and it is continuous for a plus n minus 1 into d be an arithmetic progression then sum to n terms. Sum of the first n terms. We have the direct formula is here. Sn is equal to n divided by 2 times of 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We have another formula for the same thing. Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l, where l is called last term. If you know the last term, so directly we can find the sum to n terms is Sn is equal to n divided by 2 into a plus l. Just observe here, where a is the first term, l is the last term n is the number of terms if i to find the sum of first 20 terms that become s20 sum of first 15 terms s15 and it is same n is the number of terms and sn is the sum to n terms sn represent sum to n terms and d is called common difference d is called common difference so these are the nth term as well as the sum to n terms of the arithmetic progression okay take a note now dear students we are going to discuss about very important properties on arithmetic progression one by one And the first property will be if a constant term is added to each term of an AP, the resulting sequence is also an AP. The resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression. I will give an example 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and it is continuous. Okay? If a constant term is added, I will take the constant term as 2. I will take this as 3. Term. Constant term as 3. If I add 3 to each term of this sequence, the resulting sequence is also in AP. I will explain. Just observe here. For this sequence, first term is 1. Common difference is 2. First term is 1 and the common difference is also 2. Okay. Now if I add 3 to each term. So what will happen there? 1 plus 3 comma second term. 3 plus 3 third term. 5 plus 3 and 7 plus 3 
comma 9 plus 3 and will be continuous so 1 plus 3 will be 4 command second is 6 and we had 8 and this one's 10 12 and this continuous just observe the terms here 4 6 8 10 12 this is the resulting sequence after adding 3 to each term of their AP the common difference first and second term is 2 this is also 2 this is also 2 this is also 2 and this is also 2 and it is continuous so obviously the resulting sequence is also an AP so what is concluded here if a constant term is added to each term of an AP the resulting sequence is also an AP the resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression arithmetic property okay take a pause and note on all the things what I have written here next dear children we are moving to the second property on arithmetic progression the second property is if a constant term is subtracted from each term of an AP the resulting sequence is also an AP the resulting sequence is also an AP so I will follow the same example okay. so obviously here we have the sequence 1 3 5 7 9 11 and 13 and continuous and so on this is also AP and the first term is 1 and uh, common difference is 2 if I remove 1 the resulting term first term is 3 and D is equal to 2 if I subtract each term of this AP after subtracting the resulting sequence is also an AP if I subtract uh, each term by 1 by 1 so this is 3 minus 1 comma 5 minus 1 7 minus 1 9 minus 1 11 minus 1 comma 13 minus 1 continuous 3 minus 1 is 2 5 minus 1 is 4 7 minus 1 is 6 this will be 8 10 12 and continuous just observe the resulting sequence each term is incremented by 2 and the common difference is 2 here for 2 and 4 is 2 4 and 6 is 2 this is also 2 this is also 2 this is also 2 so obviously common difference is 2 and the first term is 2 so this sequence is also arithmetic progression concept is clear here when we have the AP either add by the constant term for each term or subtracted each term by a constant term the resulting sequence in both the cases they are arithmetic progression property 1 and property 2 take a pause and note on Now, dear students, we are moving to the next property, property number 3. Okay. If each term of an AP is multiplied by a constant term, each term of an AP is multiplied by constant term, then resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression the resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression okay so what were the sequence here 3 5 7 9 11 13 and so on each term of AP is multiplied by a constant term okay multiply each term by two if I multiply each term by two three into two second term 5 into 2 7 into 2 9 into 2 11 into 2 and 13 into 2 it's continuous 
so 3 2s are 6 comma 5 2s are 10 this will be 14 18 22 26 and continuous just observe the resulting sequence so what we have here 6 4 10 sorry 6 10 14 18 22 26 and so on the resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression with the common difference 4 common difference 4 so when we are multiplying each term of an arithmetic progression the resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression this is a concept take a pause and note on all the things what I have written here now dear students we are moving to the fourth property on arithmetic progression so what will the property and you just observe the property one property two property three in first only we are adding the terms in second one we are subtracting the term in the third one we are multiplying the term and the fourth one obviously this is division each term of an ap is divided by non-zero constant this is very important we should not divide by zero we should be divided by non-zero constant then the resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression is also an arithmetic progression i will take an example 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 and continuous if i divide each term by 3 if i divide each term by 3 so what will the resultant sequence divide each term by 3 3 divided by 3 comma 3 sorry 6 divided by 3 9 divided by 3 12 divided by 3 15 divided by 3 18 divided by 3 21 divided by 3 and continuous 3 divided by 3 obviously 1 this will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and continuous. Just observe the resulting sequence. That is also an arithmetic progression. Just observe here. 1, 2, the difference is 1. 2, 3, difference is 1. 3 and 4, difference is 1. 4 and 5, the difference is 1. 5 and 6, 1, 6 and 7 is also 1. The resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression. These properties are very important. First one adding, second one subtracting, third one multiplying, third fifth one dividing. The resulting sequence is also an arithmetic progression. This is very important. Fourth properties. Okay. Take a pause and note on all the things what I have written here. Now, dear students, we are moving to the problems on arithmetic progression these problems are very important okay first problem learn. find the sum of odd integers from 1 to 2001 here we need to find sum of odd integers from 1 to 2001 so first we list out so what are the integers solution given arithmetic progression is First term already. First term will be 1. Second or integer C is 3. Next 5, 7, 9. And continuous on the last term is 2001. To find the sum to n terms, we should know first term common difference and n value. Value of n. The number of terms is very important here. So obviously from this sequence, if I observe this sequence, the first term is 1. And the common difference is 2. What about n term? First, we should find the value of n using the last term an or nth term an is equal to 2001. Here, a is equal to 1. Common difference d is equal to, you can write here, a2 minus a1 is equal to Take this as 3 minus 1. We left d is equal to 2 or 5 minus 3. 
7 minus 5, 9 minus 7. We get the common difference. D is equal to here 2. And An is equal to 2001. An is equal to 2001. Consider An is equal to, now tell me the formula. An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D. So what is An here? 2001 is equal to first term is 1 plus N minus 1 into what is the Dn? D is 2. Common difference is 2. Okay. So 2001 minus 1 is equal to N minus 1 into 2. So 2001 minus 1 is 2000 is equal to N minus 1 into 2 with it. Take 2 to left hand side. So 2000 divided by 2 is equal to n minus 1. So 2 ones are 2000. I get cancelled there. 1000 is equal to n minus 1. What is n then? Obviously 1000 minus 1. This is nothing but n is equal to 1001. 1001. After finding the value of n, next we need to find the sum to n terms. Sum of first 1000 one terms now sn is equal to the formula sn is equal to n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d e formula three is more bodo or else we go with another formula then pedalva so another formula is sn is equal to a plus l divided by because you already know the last term. What is the last term here? 2001. L A plus L. Formula is more than one. Sn is equal to N divided by 2 into A plus L. Either using this formula or go with the second formula. In both the formula we get the solution. Or you can write here. Sn is equal to either, either formula is more than Use this formula only. Sn is equal to or here the N is equal to what is the value? 1001 is equal to n is here 1001 divided by 2 2 into 1 plus 1001 minus 1 into 2 this is 1001 divided by 2 times of 2 plus here 1000 into 2 because 1001 minus 1 is 1000 so in both the terms, 2 is common. So 1001 divided by 2 into, if I take 2 as common, so what will left in first term? That is 1 plus 1001, sorry, 1000. So 2 and 2 get cancelled. Here we will have 1001 into here also 1001. That is S 1001 is equal to 1001 into 1001. This is nothing but 1001 whole square. 1001 whole square. So what is the answer? Is equal to 1001 whole square is 100201. This is the answer for S yes, 1001. Therefore, required Sum is this is the required answer. Arthaita Mukla, take a pause and note on all the things what I have written here. Now, dear students, we are moving to the second problem on arithmetic progression. And the problem is find the sum of all natural numbers lying between. 100 and 1000 which are multiple of what 5 which are multiple of 5 just observe here so in a previous problem they given from the word is very important here from but here the word is in between in between what 100 and 1000 first step they given sequence solution Given arithmetic progression or AP is first time, first time is 
the multiple of 5 after 100 is 105. First term will be 105. Second term 110, 115, 120 and continuous. And the last term is 995 because we have to consider the numbers which are multiple of 5 in between. The word is very important. In between 100 and 1000. Here 105, 110, 115, 120 and so on up to 995. So consider very simple. First find the n term. That is the number of terms. Then substitute in the formula. Here. What is the first term? Now tell me. What is the first term? A is 105. Common difference D is 5. And AN last term is 995. Consider, first consider AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. What is AN here? 995 is equal to first term 105 plus N minus 1 into 5. N minus 1 into 5. Now this become 995 minus 105 take 105 to left hand side that becomes minus 105 is equal to n minus 1 into 5 995 minus 105 is 890 890 so 995 with so separate by 5 990 multiply separate by 100 98 90 is equal to n minus 1 into 5 therefore n minus 1 is equal to 890 divided by 5 890 divided by 5 next 5 ones are so we left with a 3 13 and 8 so so 5 7 so we left with 40 and 8 so n minus 1 is equal to 178 and n is equal to 178 plus 1 this will be 179 therefore the value of n is 179 so total we get 179 terms in between 100 and 1000 now consider the formula so it is very simple because we know the last term that is a uh, an either that is a nothing but the last term l Sn is equal to n divided by 2 into a plus l. E formula is model, we get the solution. Where l is last term. Therefore, yes, substitute n value. n179 is equal to 179 divided by 2. a is here 105. Plus, what is the l? Last term. 995 this become 179 divided by 2 into this is 105 plus 995 that reduces us that gives 1100 1100 if I divide this term by 2 we get 179 into 2 ones are 2550 550. 550 into 2 is 1100. Therefore, sum of first 179 terms of the given sequence is 9845. See that is 98450 is 179. Therefore, required sum is is 98,450 98,450 is the concept to find the sum to n terms of the given sequence or given arithmetic progression take a pause and note on all things what are written here now dear students we are moving to the third problem in arithmetic progression and the problem is if the sum of certain number of terms of the AP 
given sequence is 25 22 comma 19 comma so on here the given sum to first some terms so which is 116 i will take that as s n s n is equal to 116 first term a is equal to 25 how to find d d as a2 minus a1 that is a second term minus first term second term is 22 minus 25 this d becomes minus 3 so what is the common difference here minus 3 next using the formula sn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into sorry sn is equal to n divided by 2 into a 2a plus n minus 1 into d using that formula find the value of what n Consider Sn is equal to n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Sn is here, 116 is equal to n, we need to find n by 2 into 2 into, what is the first term? Is 22 plus n minus 1 into common difference is minus 3 sorry 25 alba first term is 25 first term is 25 next is simplification take cross multiplication for 2 116 into 2 is equal to n times of 2 into 25 is 50 plus multiply by minus 3 minus 3 into n is minus 3 n minus into minus is plus 3 into 1 is 3 116 into 2 is 232 is equal to n times of 50 plus 3 is 53 minus 3 n next step is simplification here 232 is equal to multiply by n 53 into n is 53 n minus 3n into n is 3n square 3n square now take these two terms to left hand side first write 3n square minus 53n because minus 3n comes to 3n square comes to left hand side that becomes plus 3n square and a plus 53n becomes minus 53n plus 232 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 so what are the factors for 232 obviously this equation what we open this equation is quadratic equation using factorization method we need to find the roots so 232 into 3 so factors are i'll write directly here the factors are 24 29 if i multiply 24 and 29 we get the 232 into 3 that is nothing but 696 696 696 okay and 53 can be split as minus 24 minus 29 split minus 24 minus 29 then simplification so this is 3 n square right as it is minus 24 n minus 29 n plus 232 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay so what is the common term from these two term is 3n 3n is common here here we left with n and here 8 minus 29 is common n minus 8 is equal to 0 this is 3n minus 29 first term and next one n minus 8 is equal to 0 these are the two factors so basically when a b is equal to 0 either write a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 here also 3n minus 29 is equal to 0 
and 3n is equal to 29 n is equal to 29 divided by 3 and the second term or n minus 8 is equal to 0 n is equal to 8 just observe here n is always natural number right so n is natural number means so it never be 29 by 3 this is not natural number so this value can be neglected or omitted so then we can consider the value of n is 8 the value of n is 8 therefore the last term is 8th term but the last term is 8th term now uh, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d substitute the values of n a and d a 8 the last term 8 is equal to a is 25 plus 8 minus 1 into minus 3 common difference is here minus 3 next step is simplification a 8 is equal to 25 minus 8 minus 8 minus 1 is 7 into minus 3 this is a 25 minus 7 3 is a 21 plus into minus is minus 21 this is a 8 therefore a 8 is equal to 4 therefore the required last term is 4 therefore required last term of the given sequence is 4 given sequence is 4 that is the a 8 term that is the a term of the given sequence will be the last term right term take a pause and note down all the things what I have written here now dear students we are moving to the fourth problem on arithmetic progression and the problem is the income of a person is 3 lakhs in the first year and he receives an increase of 10,000 rupees 10,000 to his income per year for every year his income is increased by 10,000 for the next 19 years find the total amount he received in 20 years total amount he received in 20 years one year is 3 lakhs for every year his total income is incremented by 10,000 first year only 3, 3 lakhs second year only 3 lakh 10,000 next 3 lakh 20,000 3 lakh 30,000 3 lakh 40,000 and it is continuous okay so therefore after 20 years here we need to find after 20 years we need to find the total amount he received total amount he received if you observe carefully this problem this is in the form of arithmetic what progression arithmetic progression solution here We have arithmetic progression with first term a is equal to 3 lakh common difference for every year you get an increment of of 10,000 and uh, n will be 20 and will be 20 now Sn is equal to n divided by 2 to 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Uh, n is here 20 divided by 2, 2 into uh, 10, uh, what is our a is here 3 lakh plus n is 20 minus 1 and a common difference d is 10,000. This is a 20 divided divide by 2 is get 10 
This is a three two is a or two three is a six. So six lakhs agar plus nineteen into ten thousand. Nineteen into ten thousand. Next simplification only ten times of six lakh plus and here nineteen into ten thousand. That becomes one lakh ninety thousand. So total estate upon him get ten times of ten times of six lakhs plus one lakh ninety thousand seven lakh ninety thousand eight. This is S twenty. Therefore, S twenty is equal to seven lakh ninety thousand into ten is seventy nine lakhs. So after twenty years, he receives the total amount is seventy nine lakhs. Seventy nine lakhs. Therefore, total amount he received is he received after twenty years. After twenty years, or at the end of twenty years, at the end of twenty years, is seventy-nine lakhs. Seventy-nine lakhs. At that time, class, take a pause and note on all the things what I have written here. Just observe, dear children. In this class, we had a discussion about arithmetic progression. So the tenth level is there. So A and A and B and S and B and some important problems on arithmetic progression and properties. In our next class, I am going to discuss about very very interesting problems on arithmetic progression. After that one, I will go with arithmetic mean. Clear? Arthaitamkali class. Thank you all.